just setting up. Let's get this in. So I can see your comments. Anybody filtering in? Hello, hello. I'm just setting up, making sure you can see everything. Moving the paints around. Do, 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 do. Right, and see. So there, I'm going to give this a little wiggle because I can't see anything. Hi, Kim. Obviously, I've got a delay. I think. Actually, Kim, you, if you tell me if my sound is okay, I can speak really quietly when I'm stood up, but now I'm sat back down again. If you can just give me a thumbs up or a, yeah, sounds not too loud, that would be good. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Nikki. Everybody, call on in. Evening, see you later. Hope you're going to be good tonight. Uh, lovely to see you peeps. Diane, hello, I can see you all filtering in. Sounds fine, thank you. Sounds oh thank you, Sandra. Nice to see you. And oh, Kim, thank you. That's it. Just as we're a little bit early, I like to open the room a little bit early so that we can um, get the bits we've forgotten. I forget to. Just make sure you've got your heat gun. Um pot of water for your brushes. Got drink. Margaret and Lynn, I can see you just popped in. Hello, hello. Come on in. Take a pew, find some elbow room. Might help if I had some tags. Shall I shuffle some tags out? I think I've got them under here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I nearly did that, Celia, because actually I've got this one, which is one of my favourite little pieces that wasn't doing anything but sitting on my shelf, but I really love. And then, of course, I prepped for the class for dye and ingredients, so I've got this one, and I was like, well, do I need a, a third set of purple and green? Although, I do love this combination together. Actually, can you tell me if the light's all right? It just looks a bit dark over um, this side of the screen on the, t the tags we're going to make. Hello, Mum. <laughs> Just watching tonight, Sarah. You can make later if you want to. And Sarah and Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn's my mum. You have to say hi. Everybody say hi. <laughs> we have another couple of minutes for people to get in. Let me see what the time is. Oh, I can't see it on any of my devices. It's weird. Yeah, give it a minute or two. Looks fine. Oh, thank you, Nikki. Well done. We'll just give that a couple of minutes for a few more to pop in. Ah, oh, look, some rubbish here. <laughs> can you move the right light towards you a bit? Oh, I, I can, but the light in the ceiling is behind me, so that obviously casts that shadow. And this one is in front of me, so it's quite hard. I'll try, but then that moves the camera. Hang on. Hang on, love. Oh. Oh, crikey, my power's just gone off. Hang on. <laughs> just managed to turn my iPad off. Bear with me, love. Oh, isn't that typical? I've got everything loaded, so hopefully that's a bit lighter now. Of course, now I can't see because I've just switched my iPad off. What I'll do is try and work in this area. Hi, Ingrid. Bear with, look iPad managed to turn it off. Duh. Duh. I don't know why it went into sleep mode, but oh, that's my password. Make sure I do that off camera, eh? <laughs> right, bear with me. Two seconds, nearly back there. Where am I going into again? Tando Creatives. Oh, no. I'm not visible, apparently. There we go. Because if I don't get this up on my iPad, I can't see your comments, you see. Right, I'm back in. Look, see? Back in. <laughs> right, and I have to turn that. This is the trick, you see. I turn it upside down. Put it over here. It's out of the way. Right. Shall we? Oh, and I see. Let's 
see with the delay, it's really weird. Anyway, why does it keep going to power off? What on earth? I've got a problem going on here. Let me just check that I've got on my iPad. Oops. Gosh, sorry, people. It's throwing you all over the place. I just want to make sure I've got, um, what do they call that, hibernate off. Okay, no, that's what we want to do. Timer notes. Oh, that's weird. Where on earth do I find hibernate? Oh, I don't know what to do. Never mind, let's get on. I'll go back to my Facebook. I can see you. Swipe left, right, I can see you all. So let's try and do this without shaking you all around place again. And let's get going. Let's get a going. I think I can see your comments. The last one I can see is Ingrid. So hopefully that's all of you there. Shall we get going? I didn't have a look what the time was, but it's all in place now. Right. 12 tags, 12 ways, number seven. Seven of 12, so there's only five left. Um, it's gone quickly, hasn't it, that? Anyway, so tonight we are going to be stenciling. Now, this is what I did originally. And I must admit, I'm a little bit in love with it. If I stand up and make sure you can see it all. Because I know we've got a shadow thing going on. So lots of layers going on in there. But predominantly, we're going to be making these two back layers. So what we're going to be making is these two. And it's actually really simple to do, you'll be glad to hear. Like a lot of our tags, actually, once you know how. So these are what we're going to be doing, and they're not actually stuck down. And I'll show you why a bit later. Okay, so what we're going to start with is... Let's move that out of the way. I've got two tags, and I'm going to start with my modelling paste, because this is the thing that's going to take the most time, because we'll have to get it dry. Now... The stencil I've chosen is this one by Finnevere. I absolutely love it. Look at all that detail. And what's really nice is it fits over the whole tag, so I can do both tags at the same time, which is really handy. If you've got smaller, don't worry, just take your time, get it done, get your heat gun on it. When you start heat heating it, don't have your gun too close, because if you do, it will probably start bubbling, which is a nice effect, but it's not what we're going for tonight. So... I'm going to line this up so if you look at the tag here, the detail really, you don't need to worry about getting something beautiful like this part in the middle because it's going to be hidden. That will be in my new piece as well. So you're getting stuff around the side. So actually it would be handy to have some of this detail around here so that when we put the paint on it starts to pull in those areas. So let's have a look. Let's get going. Let's get jiggy with it, as they say. I think I'm going to pull this a little bit over so I've got some of this detail down the edge. I'm going to straighten it up a bit. Because we're layering up, if you put this on, you're stenciling on wonky, you'd really notice it when you go and put that on. So try and keep it straight if you've got a linear pattern. If you haven't, no worries. Hi, Maxine. Hi Soraya, how are you all doing? You all well? I haven't flew jab today. How exciting is that? Let's just make sure I've got modelling paste. Yeah, and not some some other medium. Yeah, I haven't flew jab today. Really well organised. So get your modelling paste on there. You don't have to be too careful, but it depends what sort of craft you are really. I'm quite a I wouldn't say messy, but quite comfortable at leaving gaps, not after perfection. As you'll know by now, I expect. So, this is really quite wet. I've opened a new one tonight, and it actually maybe could have done with a, a stir. Right. I just had, <laughs> I've totally forgot to get lemons yesterday. So we thought we'd get some on the way back. I just dropped some birthday cake, Fergus's birthday yesterday. So we dropped some birthday cake up to a friend that's uh, on her own in the middle of nowhere. So we dropped some birthday cake off to her and just checked on her. And um, well, I'm going on to the second one here as well. I thought, oh, that's all right, we'll pick up a lemon on the way back. 
Can't get lemons, can you? Shrove Tuesday. No lemons for love no money. So if there's anyone just parked up the road and got a spare lemon, drop it into us, would you? Otherwise, I think we're going to have our pancakes at the weekend. By the time I finish this, I'm going to be starving. So, getting a good layer on there. Now, one thing I didn't do was grab some water. So I'm going to grab a wet wipe because if you leave the modelling paste on your stencil and on your whatever this is that I always forget the name of, trowel, <laughs> somebody put it up there for me, um, it will go hard and you'll have devil's own job to get it clean again. You can actually put that beside then because you're not going to be using it again. Move a few bits out of the way here as well. I'm going to peel this off, revealing, we hope. Oh, so I'm a better stenciler than I am a um, stamper. I really, I want to get this wet quickly. Quickish, it's not going to dry that quick. But it's one of my favourite stencils, so I certainly don't want to have to be cleaning that up. Move these out of the way. Give myself some room to clean this. And then as long as I've got the worst of it off, it will go in some... Oh, people say Biotex, but I've only got Vanish here, but it does the job. If you do make up some Vanish and warm water, it'll get rid of acrylic paint, it'll get rid of stenciling, modelling paste, all sorts. There we go. And that's actually... I could probably put that away, but I'll stick that over there. Give it a proper clean later. Put that to the side because I can use that again. Now what I want to do is not wipe that on my new jeans. I'm going to pick that up. Can you see where the stencil's gone off the edges? I'm being really careful. And I'm going to... Now, if you have some that's gone over the edge like this, if you drag your finger down or... Um, oh, trowel, what's it called? What is this called? Somebody tell me. Palette knife. Thank you, Celia. If you drag your palette knife down, it's going to drag the pattern. Whereas if you go straight down, straight up for that matter, but straight down, can you see it doesn't distort the pattern? If you're nice and quick and sharp about it, there we go. And then this one. Oh, it's difficult to pick that one up. Straight down. Palette knife, palette knife. Straight down. There we go. Sorry if I've come off camera there. Right, so we've got our two pieces, but of course that's wet, so we can't really do anything with that right away. Hi Lisa, how are you doing? You alright, lovey? Just telling the peeps. I have my um, jab today, so warning signs, the warning pamphlet you get with it says um, I'm going to have a dead arm in a couple of days and possibly have a high fever, possibly have headaches. Just say that was likely because I'm a headachey person. Now, to be able to paint on the top of this, we'd need this at least 90% dry. We'll probably get away with not being 100%, but let's have a go. I'm going to do this. I'll start it on camera, but move it off because I don't want you being able to hear the um, heat tool. So all I'm going to do is keep it moving because if I get too close, this heat tool gets really hot. You are going to um, bubble it, which isn't a terrible thing, but it's not the look we're going for. So... And can you see, as it dries, if I use my paintbrush, can you see it goes darker? That's what happens as it, as it dries, it goes a little bit darker. So I'll move this off camera now. And like I was saying, I'm hoping that I did the right thing. I didn't stir my modelling paste. So I'm hoping that it is actually going to go off. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to fake it. I'm going to fake it, fake it. <laughs> Can you see how it's changing colour? Mm, a little bit. So what I will do is that's getting fresh as hot, so I will change to this one. Oh, my shadow. Oh, well done, Mum. Thank you. So basically, all she has to do is go into Tando's creative zone, and she should see the video playing. And then all she does is click on it and turn the sound up. 
She does have trouble with her tech. Lizzie is my sister, by the way, peeps. Oh, Lynn, that's brilliant. You had your jab on Saturday and no side effects at all and your arm's okay as well. Oh, that is good to hear. Because, of course, I pad on. I'm hoping to go on the paddleboard at the weekend. And if my arm's really sore, that's going to be tricky because my wetsuit is tight-fitting. It, it's hugging. It really is like a second skin. So I don't think that that's going to be very comfortable. So I'm hoping... As well, I do some sort of strength training exercises. I do ow, 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 hot. I do the plank and things like that and push-ups and I'm not going to be able to do those with uh, a sore arm. So we'll see. We'll see. And I hadn't realised how stressed I was about oh, the whole pandemic, really. I know it, it bothers me every now and again. But um, I hadn't realised. I had my jab and um, the relief. I just, I really did feel a sense of relief as I walked out of the clinic today. It was brilliant. And it's just so well organised. Oh, you're right, Mum. Friend of ours, um, two sisters, uh, a couple of our runners actually, have gone into business together. I'm just going to call two of uh, their sisters, two sisters bakery, and they've been baking cakes and afternoon teas and things um, during the pandemic. So you can get it delivered, and oh, they're just so nice. So they did a rye raspberry one and then white chocolate butter icing. Now I'm running my finger over this very gently because it has changed colour, but not significantly. That's still a bit tacky. Oh, that's really good to know, Lynn. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? What's the emotion about? I think it's a bit of relief that you think... We're getting somewhere. When it happens to you personally or, or to your next of kin, when something happens personally, it, it hits home much more. And I found, um, I wasn't emotional, but the relief. And I just thought, okay, I know I've got two weeks before it starts kicking in properly um, and I need my second one, but, oh, you know, it's done. And it's so painless. And it just, there was a poor woman in front of me in the queue. So it's still tacky, so I'm still going and... There was a poor lady in front, uh, well, she was started off behind me. Right, my tag's uh, walking a little bit, so I'm just doing the back as well to straighten out. Um, and she was a mess. And I said, are you worried about the injection? And she said, a little bit, but it transpires it was the mask. And she was partially sighted and she had to leave her dog outside. So bless her, she lost her comfort zone immediately because the dog had to stay outside, wasn't allowed in the clinic, in the surgery. And so she didn't have, and you know, you can't go up and say, do you want me to come in with you, love? Because she can't do that. And I couldn't hold her hand, but I saw it, she came out before. we. So we let her in front of us in the queue. So bless her, she went in and she came out and everyone said, are you all right? You're all right. Yeah, I'm much better now. And she was worried about the jab she was terrified well not terrified but she was really suffocated by the mask and her dog was outside I mean crikey so she was so brave coming in right this feels dry so we'll see when we put the paint on won't we now you've got two options hi Pam nice to see you got two options here you can do tinting base which I haven't actually got down or you can go straight on with colour because we're going to do a dark and a light of the same colour, so what I've done here is pick a purple and a darker purple. That's purple, it'll probably show up blue. And I've got um, a light green and then a slightly darker green. Um, I'm not too worried about putting a tinting base on because it's really not going to make the difference because we're doing layers. I'll get rid of that. Oh, we're not using that anymore. So what we're going to do is lay down our first colour then when that's dry, we're going to water down some of the darker colour and sort of drizzle it and pull it so it sits in some of these lovely um, dips in these lovely crevices between your stenciling work. So I will start doing that. Shout if there's anything. No, that's all good and dry and cool down. It cools down really fast. So we're going on with our first colour. So you want the light of both your colours. I'm wondering now whether I do, I wonder how that would look the other way around. Do you know what, I think that's the best way around, but I'm tempted. Because this colour. 
colour's so stunning. I want to see a bit more of it, maybe. I think I'm going to reverse the colours. If you're changing your mind about what colours to use, go for it, I say. Right, let's get this one on first. Now, I'd say put it on not thick, but not thin either. Is that helpful? <laughs> right. Um, because... We don't want it to take forever to dry. We've got a heat gun, obviously. But I'm going to go straight onto my tag. But we don't really want to see the grey board underneath. And if you do it too... I'm aware of shadow. If you do it too thin, you're going to see more of the grey board than we want to. And although that's nice to see sometimes, that's, again, not the look we're going for tonight. It seems to be my quote of the night, doesn't it? I'm going to do the sides because this one will be sitting on top. So can you see it's quite faint? I'm not too worried because I know what's coming next and we are going to be highlighting a little bit. But if it's fainter than you like, just put another coat on when it's dry. It's acrylic sits on top of itself. You can do this with any colour. So it's a completely different colour on the screen. Just a quick look at the screen. Oh, I hope Lizzie can join us. Try it. You're right, Celia. I am trying it. I'm going for it, look. <laughs> so I'll do that one. I'm going to give it a quick blast of my heat gun because otherwise I've got to clean the paint off. Put green on. Clean the paint off. Put that. Right. I was going to put it in my mouth, but you won't be able to understand what I'm saying. So heat gun. I wonder why Lizzie has all these problems. It's really strange. Well, some people always struggle to get on online or to a Zoom meeting or anything like that. My sister always has problems. And she has a good strong signal. I don't know what it is. Ow, ow, ow. Don't burn yourself so you can see I've left out a little white bit. So sometimes we're going on with a second coat. Again, 85, 90% dry is probably enough. But you can see it's walked a little bit. But I'll do it this way or paint on the back, which I usually do because I like my things finished. That'll straighten out. There we go. Let it dry a little bit. Obviously, we don't want to cook the paint, so. Oh, is that... Okay, Mum. The reason um, Lizzie couldn't get on was because she wasn't a member of the group. We have to approve people. Cecilia has just said she's just approved her for the group, so she should be in any minute now. Lloyd, I didn't know you were a member of the group, lovey. <laughs> hello, hello Trudy. Nice to see you. Gosh, lots of familiar faces now. This is really nice. It's a really nice friendly group as well. So, second coat we're going in and I'm going to pay attention this time to anything that I thought was a bit faded last time. Like, see down here, I don't know if you can see it. Down here there's a bit bit faint. Oh, and I've got a nasty bit of goo on there. Won't be having that. Get that off me. There we go. So it's still not thick, but it doesn't matter because don't forget we're going on with the second coat. So I'm going to call that good enough. Mainly because you can take your time at home, but I don't want you sitting watching me do loads and loads of layers, do I? Hi, Debbie. Oh, come on, Lisbeth, where are you, girl? Also, you can tell warmer weather as well. Socks went out probably two hours ago, so long as she's been out for ages. And it poured down with rain, so hopefully she's going to show up soon. But she's got a brand new friend, you see, going for the second colour now, while that one dries. That one can dry naturally now. Um, We've got Anne, what's the proper name? Munjack. Oh, I call Munjack Z-Walks. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but we've got a muntjac that lives in the farm next door oh I may have picked a colour that's um, gone hard or is empty and um, it started visiting the garden which is oh I can't tell you if you knew me you know how much I love wildlife and animals and he's been visiting the garden and he's just I walked up the drive yesterday oh another dirt bad bit and um I thought, what's so why was socks not going up the garden and uh, up the drive? And I looked up and the 
four foot from me maybe three four foot <laughs> what's this mum jack chewing on the grass if so what do you want love <laughs> so we now have um a mum jack which we haven't named yet which is really unusual for me as well again i'm scrubbing this a little bit because this paint is a little bit thicker um, and to get into those grooves, I didn't know how to do it with the other one. I'm having to scrub back and forwards a little bit, which is fine again, because we're going to go over. I'm going to do the edges. Just because it, it gives a nicer finish. And generally, when I finish a project, I also put black card or paint the backs black, because it's just nicer. Sides. So it really is up to you how careful you are. This is really a simple technique. I'm not teaching you to suck eggs, really. A lot of you have been crafting a lot longer than I have. Oh, look! My sister's in. Elizabeth Louise Minter. That's my sister. Or clown feet, as I like to call her. <laughs> Told the world. <laughs> oh, Nikki, they are just absolutely brilliant they are so sweet but bigger when you're up close surprisingly bigger than you think hi Rosanna it is possible um it is possible to re-watch the video so what you would do is well what we do when this is finished I will save it and you will find it in this group so Tando Creative Zone um you can either I will probably save it to the unit so if you have a look for Jan's units I think they're easy to spot. So I think at the top of the page, you see unit. Go in there and you'll see all the previous ones. And as we go through the 12 tags, we'll be we'll be putting our videos in there. So you won't miss any. And if you get stuck, just put a note up on the Tando Creative Zone. Just comment and say, how do I see them? And somebody will tell you where they are. There's all be, always somebody on that knows where they are. Right, I'm just going to dry this one too. Yeah, look at that. My mum and my sister are in. How nice is that? Lovely to see you all. This is my dinner time usually, so I think Fergus has got used to me saying, it's 7 o'clock Tuesday, sorry love, dinner's either early or late, but he's, um, he's in the conservatory doing his workout, so working off that flipping cake we had. <laughs> That's why we've been delivering it to friends. Because, oh, you wouldn't want to eat all of that, really. It was lovely. Just a simple Victoria sponge, but, oh, those girls can bite. Right, another sister that is um, an absolute whiz at making bread. She puts up her posts on um, Facebook. Oh, gosh, some of the bread. Oh, I haven't done that this side. Some of the bread she makes, it looks amazing. We make a little, but not to her. She makes focaccia, is it, and garlic bread, and oh, all sorts of breads. Absolutely gorgeous, they look. But her house smells lovely when she's baking. And she even got a roof boarding in. Her ceiling fell in the other week. How are we all doing? Are we all crafting along? Didn't ask. <laughs> Rizmana, what are you having? Tell us what you're having. You haven't got flour all over your hands. What have we got tonight? Oh, we're having fish and chips tonight. Whenever there's um, a something going on, we have something easier to make. But it's homemade still. But um, fish and chips and peas. Not mushy ones tonight. Just normal garden peas. Love a bit of fish and chips. But I'm not a big fan of getting it from the um, takeaway. It's just so greasy. But I do love fish and chips. Right, we we're done with our lighter layers. You can throw them around your table if you like. I'm going to move mine out of the way. How are we all doing? Oh, that's great, Rosanna. If, if ever you've got um, a question, just put a note, put, put a comment in um, Tando's uh, Creative Zone and somebody will get back to you. Probably one of us. I'm in and out all the time. Right, I'm just going to give that a blast. How are we doing for time? Oh, great stuff. Cheers. We're only... What is it Seth says, Seth says Celia? A layer away from magic. <laughs> so this is quite dull, really. See, it's flat. Oh, it's not going to be. 
flat at the end. How's it looking? Oh, look at that. Look at the difference. Shall we? We've got a way. We've got a little way to go. Right, you want this layer dry because we're going to put on the darker colours and then we're going to spritz with some water and kind of move it around a bit with a brush. So I've got my brush in some water here and I'm rinsing it all out. Because we want, you want some clean water. I've got a spray bottle. And this should do as much or as little as this, if you like. And I've learned more is more. <laughs> Start off slow because it's easier to add than it is to take away. I would have a tissue like so beside so you can take up water if you you don't want too much or you don't like the way it's going. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just going to have a sip because chatting away, vegetable rice with chicken curry and oh, I love doll. Oh, oh, that's right now. That's, that's more effort than our uh, fish and chips. Mm. That sounds really nice. Oh, I really, oh, I haven't had doll for ages. Actually, I haven't had curry for ages. Oh, I have to put that on the menu. I'm just making sure this is dry, and I think it is. Sorry, yeah, I think that's dry. Right. If in doubt, do the small one first. Eh? Is that that's the one we did first, wasn't it? Right, so this time instead of putting my paint onto the tag because we want to be a bit more specific this time, we don't want it all over the tag, we're only going to be putting it in places. And as my lid won't come open, I'm guessing this wants to shake. So, can we pop round? Yeah, pick me up on the way, Celia. <laughs> Not that I know where Riswana lives, but where are you, Riswana? bit of the country you're in <laughs> just be beware don't say Bedfordshire or Buckinghamshire or you have Celia in on your doorstep right splodge out a bit I have no idea how much I'm going to use until I start looking at the paint so I'm going to splosh out a good bit I'm going to give a spritz of water I've got a cleanish brush I never have a completely clean brush I'm going to grab some water. Oh, excuse my hand there. I'm going to make this a little bit watery. I'm not using all the water yet because, again, I'm just going to get a feel. So I've got a wobbly brush as well. So what we're going to do now is just put it on at the edges. Be brave because if you don't like it, you can wipe it straight off. You've watered it down enough. And we're going to let that, I can try and keep it under the camera for you. We're going to let that start in its way. Now I will do probably not the bottom edge because it will end up pulling down there anyway. I'm going to let that go on for a second just move it about a bit. Up and down up and down you don't want it rolling right off yet. And don't forget oh no it's the big one we're not going to see the middle of. So this one you can go as crazy as you like. Crazy I tell you. What's on here? Now, see, if I was to hold it up that way, it would all end up at the bottom. And I don't want that. I want some of the colour to take, because I'm going to take some of this off in a minute. I want the colour to settle in some of these grooves. Can you see? Let me come up to see. Can you see how the colour's not dark, but in the recesses it is? You can do it. You could cover... Actually, let me do that so that you can see what it's like without risking anything. I'm going to make it a bit darker. Then you can choose whether you do this or not. And for me, I can. I know I can wipe this off. So let's have a look. Roberto, hello. You're in Manchester. Oh yeah, I won't be popping in tonight. <laughs> Maybe next Friday night. <laughs> a lot further down the country. Oh, it does sound nice though. I could, oh, I could murder a curry. Right now, so you've got this all pulled. Now, there's two things you can do here. <laughs> Three things. You can clean your table so you don't get covered in it. Because I will. I don't want to chuck that in the bin. You can either go on with your spray bottle. Now, if you spray in the middle, um, 
the colour will start edging out to the outside. Now I don't, I'm quite liking the depth I've got, so I don't actually want to do that. So you can spray and take off quite a lot, or you can grab your tissue, nice clean bit, and you can start dabbing. I don't know if you can, the camera will pick that up. If I come up a little bit, can you see how it's going lighter in the middle? But it's still quite dark around these edges. So I can, if I just put the tissue there, Kleenex, whatever you're using, it will soak up a bit of the colour. And this is also why you paint the sides, because the water will get into the grey board. It'll only warp a little bit, but what's my saying for the night? It's not the look we're going for. So I'm probably going to leave that like that. Now don't forget, these are backgrounds, so you're going to be building. I'm going to make sure my hands are clean of purple because I'm going green next. Um, this is your top layer. Um, you are going to be building on top of that. So it doesn't have to be perfect because if you have a look, so the equivalent of this purple one is the green one here, but uh, you see I've layered up on top of it. So you're going to be hiding a fair bit of it. And you've got to remember this is just a background and you... I'd love to see what you do put on top of them, actually. Now I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to leave that to side because that will dry off a fair bit on its own. Sorry, I'm going to shake here. I'm going to shake it, shake it. I'm going to shake it, shake it. Okay, I'm shaking it off, off camera because it'll <laughs> make you dizzy. So this will dry off a fair bit. And the more it can dry on its own, um, the richer the colour will be. Um, when you start using a heat gun to dry things, it, it tends to bleach out the colour a little bit. I have no idea why, Work, especially on watercolour, but it will do it on acrylic as well, acrylic rather. So, a bit of a spray, but not directly on, go beside. Get the paintbrush, make sure I've got all that green out. I don't really want to contaminate the colour here. A little bit purple, but I can live with that. So, don't go too bad. So, this one, you're going to have that tag over the middle. So, I wouldn't bother too much about the middle. You don't have to do a deeper shade of the colour you've used. You could use a completely different colour. Like, if you'd used a red background, <clears throat> excuse me, black would go amazing as a highlight colour. It would look absolutely amazing. This one isn't so watery, you see, so I can now introduce some water. I'm not liking that as much. So if I use the spray, look at the difference. Look how that spreads out now. Ooh, yeah, I like that better. Because we've dried it properly, I can hold it in the middle. Oh, look how it feathers up and comes down. Oh, can you see that? Let me see. Can you see how the water sprayed? You have less control, and quite often in art, that's a good thing. It's much more organic feeling and um, natural feeling. Almost like a rust effect, but obviously we're using colour. So I'm dabbing off some excess here because that is quite a lot. I think I'm going to shove my pen away and clean this up because actually I'm really liking... Can you still see it? Yeah. But I do need to move it because otherwise I'll risk either contaminating the other one or getting it right up to my elbows, which has been known to happen. Can you see how it's bleeding in there? Oh, sure, boy. And again, I've got a heavier dose this side than this side. I've got less going on here, but look how that's coming up there. That's bad, bad, bad. And down here, it's picking all that detail out. I'm going to move it around a little bit more and then we'll start drying it. Because we've only got um, one layer to go. Who knew? Oh, we're doing really well. How are you guys doing? Are you playing along with me? Did anybody answer? I asked that before. I didn't look for the answers. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Okay. Been going about 40 minutes, just under. Right, making sure my hands are dry because I don't really want purple on green or green on purple. And this one's already started to dry in the middle. So, it's heat gun time again. Literally watching paint dry. 
There we go. I'll move the paints out the way because the, I don't really want the heat on them. I'll have a slurp and a drink while I'm doing that. Just watching Lynn. Now Celia, you're either laying around or you're playing along. <laughs> oh, you're playing along. <laughs> well done. <laughs> could have been either, could have gone either way. <laughs> you're just watching Nikki. Oh, Ingrid, please, anyone that plays along or anyone that does this a bit later, even if it's weeks later, please put them up in the uh, creative zone. Ah, oh, not to worry, Lynn. Um, yeah, whenever you do these, one of the techniques, please put them up on the Facebook page because it's lovely to see what other people do. And metallics, oh, what colours metallics have you used, Ingrid? I'd love to see. I've got a, I bought a copper in the way, uh, not in the way, a couple of weeks ago now, and oh my goodness, it's, it is just the most stunning deep colour. Can't wait to use it. Now I'm warping the board quite a bit here, but I've shown you, if you turn it over, you can either paint the bag or spritz it with water. Oh, actually, yeah, let's try that as so we've got a little bit of time. Um, you see how it's warped? That is correctable. So I'll do this one as well. Oh, actually, funnily enough, purple's my favourite colour. I'm going to come up to camera and show you. Purple would be my favourite, my choice, if you ask me. So it's looking nice. Uh, the camera's not picking up how faded that is in the middle, really. But look at the green. You can really see how it's gone in. Oh, I'm loving that. Oh, I'm going to have to try with other colours now. Blue, green, purple. Oh, Oh, Ingrid, you're going to have to post a picture of that up. That sounds wonderful. Greens and purples are really on my thing this year. Had my jab today, Lynn. Don't know if you caught that. So relieved. I think it's 12 weeks till the next one, approximately. Our um, little surgery in our little town seems to be doing amazingly well really well and you're in they've got this lovely one-way system they're still running a normal clinic up there but that's segregated they're just amazing right straighten these out because as you can see they've bowed a little turn them over i'm just going to do a really light spritz of water and start drying the other way up and they will Straighten out a little bit, just to give them a bit of a bend Ooh, and clean up that water. See, they're already starting to bend back the other way. And these are, I'd say, 95% dry. Oh, you're going to love the next bit, you're going to get covered in it. It's a good job I'm not children, you're not children. I don't have the mums on the phone saying, What have you been teaching them? They're not going to be just as bad. Now, I'll pick up the original and come up. On these, can you see? Yeah, there's a tilt. So we've got some splatters going on. Now, I use different things for these splatters. Actually, I did the splatters last. Okay, well, that's cool. So, um, The splatters, I use different things. There's a couple of things on the market that I've come across. This is Sparks by... Um, Finibear, Art Alchemy, Prima. And what are you, but both of the things I'm using you add water to. Now this looks goldish. Look at that. Oh, can you see? Can you see that glimmer? But it's got flecks of other stuff in it. It's oh, just gorgeous. And if you put it on black, you get this colour. If you put it on white, you get more silvery actually. And then you've got these. These are powders, so that's liquid. Oh, I'll put the lid back on properly. That's a liquid, like a paste almost, so we're going to water it down. This is a powder and we've got Unicorn, which is silvery, and we've got Elf, which is gold. But it's not just gold, there's other colours in there which you can't see 
at the moment, you don't see them until you mix them with water, and also you get different highlights, depending if you've got a dark colour, you'll get more silvery gold, and if you've got um, a lighter colour, it will pick up little bits of blue, and the camera just doesn't catch it here, but I can see little flecks of red, uh, this one's more golden, so it's the same on both, but I'm getting different highlights, which is fantastic. But what we're going to do first, when this is a bit cooler, and this is why you need this dry. <clears throat> now, excuse me, I've got a little tickle in my throat, a little frog in my throat. Oh, well done, Nick. Oh, that's not fair, I can't see it till the end. Celia, not doing purple, are you alright, love? <laughs> Celia loves purple too, and there's purple in a lot of things she does. <laughs> Where am I? Make sure I've got all the uh, comments. Yeah, me too, responding. Oh my gorgeous. This green, though, that surprised me. That was, I will tell you the colours because it's a nice combination. It's a turquoise from um, Deco Art, and this one I think is a turquoise as well. Great, you're turquoise, and yet look at that difference different brands, different makes. Interesting. So they're both turquoise, so it's a light and a dark. And these two are both um, Crafters Acrylic Deco Art. I've got a Regal purple, purple is the dark, and a Purple Passion is the light, which is, to be honest, I'd call that dark. Lilac, but hey. Right. Now, you've got two options here as well. Well, you've got loads of options. You, it's your, your project, you do it your way. I'm going to use, this is blue velvet, and I haven't taken, this is gilding wax. So that looks nothing, does it? I don't even know if it's picking up the pink on the camera. Let's see. It kind of looks pink. It really isn't. Yeah, that's so weird. That looks so odd. It's not pink at all. It's a gilded wax. And this one is old white. And I have to say, this is becoming one of my favourites. And it really is white. So I'm going to put a bit out on the mat. And there's no reason why you couldn't use one gilding wax on this and a different gilding wax on this. But for uniformity, I'll use the same. And the only thing I would say is, give them a sniff before you put them away. They smell heavenly. Especially this, uh, they're from the same company, different packaging. So this is the same thing as this, just a different colour. And the white is lovely. Now, clean finger. Don't put it in your mouth like I have because acrylic's not good for you. But you do this one first because this is the driest. Oh, thank you, Ingrid. I can't wait to see now. Now, with dry brushing or waxing, start really light. So you put it on your finger and you take it off till can you see almost nothing? And then you want to hit these highlights. Just brush them across like so. If you put too much on your finger you see you'll get what I've nearly got there which is a gloop and you don't want a gloop so you can see a tiny amount I put out and I'm still taking it off my finger and go across all those raised bits all your little hieroglyphs <gasps> now I'm quite happy to go on heavier remember I'm going to be putting stuff on the top of this so I can be heavier I'm also doing it heavier so that you guys can see but look at that lovely pattern revealing from the texture paste or modelling paste I use this time. Feel free to use, um, oh, what's it called, uh, crackle paste. Crackle paste works really well on this because when you put the watered down paint, it goes into the cracks as well. It's just lovely, really, really nice. So that uh, really pulls it out, doesn't it? And then what I tend to do is a bit, a bit heavy around the edge. Just like I did, I don't know if you watched the um, false slate I did. Similar sort of thing. Go a bit heavier on the edges. You kind of want them to stand out a little bit. Because now we've got a lighter background that we're putting them on. It's not... So the green stands out really well on the purple. The purple won't stand out on its edges quite so well. Went on wonky, didn't I? Oh well. Wonky schmonky. Dye's in. Hi, Di. <laughs> Popped in at the end there. Have you been having your tea as well? <laughs> Just doing a bit of dry brushing. I've only got two layers to put up with my ramblings. As it's not me giggling. 
got my sister on board tonight as well as my mum. Making it a family affair. Now this is starting to dry out a little bit. Ah, there we go. And sometimes you start putting it on and you think there's nothing happening there and then just it just grips the light or something and it pops up lovely. Remember you don't have to pay too much attention to the middle because we're going to be doing that aren't we? Oh, hope you can't hear my stomach rumbling. I might put a bit too much on there, so I'm going to dark dry brush. There. And you see, I put too much on there. Just if you're quick enough, you can give it a quick, quick poke out. I might try that blue velvet because this white's not picking up too well on here. It's not standing out quite as much as I'd like. So I'm going to finish round because otherwise it'll be off balance. I really don't want any. Uh, Want a bit of continuity. Yeah, to that corner. What I might do is a little bit more of that because the outside of the purple one is white, so I should really do the outside of this one white. Dippy dab dob. Oh, actually, again, it's one of those more is more things. Normally I do a less is more, but not on this one. text messages. <laughs> At least my screen hasn't gone off again. Just turn my iPad off. Oh thanks Di, you're always very supportive of me. Thank you. Of all of us, we got a great boss. Although she's not a boss, she kind of is. <laughs> you want to say, oh you must watch Di on her chanda. Yeah. You have to remind us of the day when you're on Ho Chanda because Di sent us our little packs for design team packs to do samples for the show. Oh, goodness, they're so fun. They're so much fun. I've just had idea after idea. You haven't sent me half enough packs, Di. <laughs> oh dear. I'm glad it's grey board and we can cut a bit of it as well. Right, so that's that stands out a little bit more like that. But I'm gonna try this opal wax. It's called blue velvet, so I think it because it's opal, I think it may change colour in the light. So I'm going to clean that off a little bit. Let's see. Oh, it smells heavenly. It really does. Oh, it's quite oil. Oh, did you see that purple flash? <gasps> Celia, this one is called Blue Velvet. And on my finger, I wonder if I can get you to see that. Can you see as the light catches it, it flashes purple. <laughs> what is this blue? But the thing is, although I can put it on here, I don't think you're going to be able to see it on the... Oh, I don't think you'll be able to see it on the camera. But I can see as I turn it in the light. Oh, it's got a pale lilac -y blue tinge. Oh, sorry, lost for words. It's so beautiful. Oh, maybe I should have put that on the purple, although I don't think you'd have seen it on the purple. Oh, now you see, that's going to tie it together because I'm getting flashes of lilac, which of course go with the purple on the top now. Superbly. It's a very different piece though, just swapping the colours around. Clean it grand. Right, I've got to put that away. It smells of um, orange essence, would it be, for cooking? Orange oil, a bit like um, like you get peppermint oil for peppermint creams. It's it, orange oil is what it smells like. Oh, so one to my fingernails. I wonder if socks is in yet. If she is, she doesn't come up. She normally bypasses Fergus, although he does the feed in the evening. She normally bypasses him and comes straight up. So now I've got <laughs> two wonderful smelling pieces. So. We've got one more step to go. Oh, crikey. Now look, that's the one we're doing tonight against the one I prepared. Hang on, let's point that underneath. The one I prepared, look how different they look. Isn't that interesting? I actually love them both. This one's starting to take my heart a bit. So, to the powders. So you can use these unicorn powders. Oh, pretty, get, oh, pretty gets gritty. 
what they're called. And this one's Unicorn and this one's Elf. And then we've got the Sparks. So who wants me to use what? Do I use the Pretty Gets Gritty or do I use the Sparks? Thanks, Diane, me too. Yeah, isn't that funny, Kim? And yet, because purple is regal, absolutely. But this, this looks a bit more 30s. And I'm liking that. I'm going to... Uh, the thing that was going to go on the top is now not going to go on the top. I'm going to have to change that. Okay, Di got in there for sparks. These are lovely. I don't know if they smell. Spark oh, okay, Nikki, good. No worry, Maxine. Catch up later. Oh, Celia says unicorn. Sorry, Celia. <laughs> the girl's got you the gold. Okay, good, good. Gritty. Oh, seriously? I could do one and one. Let's do one and one. Right, this is the sparks. Oh, no, that doesn't smell nice at all. <laughs> right. What we're going to do is, mm, I need the end, of the end of it. You take some out. Oh, this does a really weird thing. And you really don't need a lot. So I'm going to leave that there. Squish that down. I think what I will do is put, I will put the sparks on the purple, so the gold on the purple, and I will put the unicorn. Is that going to show up? I don't know if the... Oh, well, we'll just try it, shall we? That's what we're here for, isn't it? Experimentation. So, to be able to flick this, um, Sparks, you need to add some water. It's too thick. Now, can you see that, honestly? Oh, for me, this is all moving. There's gold moving around. I wish I could show you. But if I zoom my camera in, I probably won't be able to zoom it out again. So, purple, poiple. We're going to stir in some water because we want to. Mm, that's still not flicking. I need. You normally need to test it. Can you see that's not coming off? There's two things there. One, it's not watery enough. So it's going silvery gold. So it's because it's on a brown mat. It's going to change completely. Right, I'm getting a splodge, but it's not a fine enough splodge for me. I want a small paintbrush. So, if your sparks don't flick, get a small paintbrush, get as much water in there as you can. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, I think it is, the closer you are, the bigger the splodge is. The further back you are, the smaller. Don't take my word for that. I'm trying to keep everything else out of the way. And of course, if you do a lot of um, water in this, it's going to go over your laptop. It's going to go on your phone. But actually, and you stop where you want to stop. <sighs> you can see the, the sparkle. Can you see the sparkle? Oh, I've gone all um, Sean Connery. Let's have a look. Let's bring this up. Can you see it? Sparkle. Oh gosh, that's a bit lush, isn't it? There we go. So, that was the sparks. Let's put that on top of the sparks. That's the spark. But interestingly, oh, I want to try and make you see, or allow you to see that that's gold and silver. So that's your sparks, and it was called Dragon's Eye. Of course, it was called Dragon's Eye. Where's the. I have to, Mum. It's all my stuff. I play with it in different ways now. <laughs> right, I'm going to get rid of this. Cause, um, I'm not going to get rid of that because I might use some of that on the green yet. Um, what I'm thinking is I have to put... So we're using Unicorn, aren't we, on the green one? I'm thinking if this doesn't show up because it's silver and silver and green might not show up. If it doesn't show up, I've still got some sparks. How it shall always be said in my head now. Now this, like I say, is a powder. It's probably a good job the cat isn't here. I'm going to tap it out. Can you see? Oh, looking for the delay. I'm looking and thinking, why isn't she? That's it. Tap it out on the table. It goes everywhere, this stuff. 
and you're going to spray it. Now I'm going to do this because I'm going to spray partially against my hand because, because it is a fine powder. So I want to stop it. Oh, look at this lushness going across my table. Otherwise I'll be cleaning it off for days. It's a bit like glitter in the house. Can you see those wonderful... So I've got... Right, I can see... Oh, oh I wish you could see this. I've got purple, silver, blue, red, a sort of turquoise green. It's amazing. So I'm going to wash off my brush. But those colours will change because those colours are there because it's on a brown background. Where could I put it on a green? And I might be putting a little bit in there as well because then, of course, what do the professionals say? I want to tie this piece to this piece and I will tie them together by putting the spray over both. I've got amethyst there. I don't dare zoom in because if I do, chances are my tech won't let me zoom out again. Now this one's very much, very watery compared to that one because it was a powder to start with. So we're going in. Oh, it's coming out purple and silver. Oh goodness. Uh, I think we might have a bit of, I don't even know what to call it. Oh, that is, <laughs> if you haven't got some of these pretty gets gritty, pretty explosions they're called, oh, you've got to get one. And this unicorn is delicious. Absolutely. Look at the purple on there. And I'll come up in the camera in a sec. It's kind of, oh, it's kind of amethyst with a silver tinge to it. Let's come up and say, oh no, there's some more in there. And if you stir it, because they're actually separating the purple, it's like a little universe. Because as I stop stirring, it all the silver all moves about. Sorry. I'll come and show you. I'm getting all excited. Let's see if I can catch the light. Let me try and put this light on as well. No, I just cast shadow. Oh, I'm hoping you can see that. It is just, it looks so much better than what I can show you but hmm, I think I'm going to do it the other way I think I'm going to take this one I'm going to give it a quick blast because they're not quite dry yet I think I'm going to bring the silver up to the top rather than taking the gold down to the bottom so I'm doing that quick blast they are like pixie powders uh, brushes I think brushes are quite gritty, aren't they, Kim? This isn't. It's pure, pure um, powder. It, it was. I was quite nervous spraying there because it was going everywhere. It's like a brush, so it's less like a brusho. It's more like a pixie powder. Oh yeah, Lynn. See, that's the only way I use them. I've always mixed them with powder and splattered them, but I do like a bit of a splat. So I don't actually mind if some of this. That looks purple now, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll give it a stir. And yeah, this little bit over here is silver. And I've got red spl oh. <laughs> I will try, when I've finished, I will try and take a close-up with the colours. I'm going to come up a bit because I don't want too much on this because all I'm doing is tying it to the background. Oh, when did you stop? <laughs> This now, as it's drying, it's got silver. It's even more regal now. I'll give those a blast with the gun in a minute. Or I'm going to clean up first. Oh, goodness me. Got to have a go. Those sparks are wonderful. So the sparks is Dragon's Eye. And it's an Al Alchemy um, Prima. The wax was also a Prima. Uh, that one was Blue Velvet. And I've got... Old white is really handy, it goes on everything. And for these two, this was Pretty Gets Gritty, Pretty Explosion, and I used the unicorn. But the gold does a, dip, a, a similar sort of thing. <gasps> look, now that was silver, look at the gold. Madness, absolute madness, it's magic I tell you. I love playing with my stuff a different way as well because I, this wasn't what I planned to do colour wise really I got those out to show you I didn't expect to use them can you see now okay I won't try too much to show you oh you can see a bit of that silver I think 
I'll take a close up later. Now I'm going to dry this a bit because the last little bit, we're done with all the painting. You can start clearing up if you like. I just want that. Oh, she's got bits of purple. <laughs> You'll see when I do the close ups. Right, while that dries off a little bit, what I did here was mounted this up. Can you see it's on a layer? So all I've done is taken another tag, don't tell. Die. Is die still there? <laughs> and I've cut some pieces of grey board so that my piece will sit up so that you get this depth because what it means is when you make your piece not only can you layer on this top card if i've got a bit i thought i saw something earlier oh, here well, i'll use this not only can you layer up on the top but you can slip things underneath and that makes for so much dimension these here are art pebbles again i think they're prima but actually i make my own now i bought a mold of semicircles or cabochons uh, I've got some diamond resin, so it's clear resin, and then I just paint the back whichever colour I need to suit my project and a little tie. So the last thing to do here is take this cut-up board, you see. Now look at... I can't believe the difference. I've used the same colours, believe it or not, except for my splats. Look at the difference in them. So just think, if you want to use your colours, maybe don't. This is what you would do traditionally. You would do a dark background and a light foreground. Well, we turn that on the head and actually I'm really liking that one now. Maybe because I've been looking at this one for two weeks, but <laughs> there we go. So I'm done. This has got a little bit of drying to do. I'll try and take some close-ups of that shine while I've got my lights out because it, it just looks amazing and you can't I can't get it on camera for you. So I'll take a couple of photos. Anyway, I'm done. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Let me just read this to make sure there's no questions. I still there. Oh, done. done. Sorry, cut up one of your tags. Oh, are they? Oh, oh, thank you, Nikki. Oh, thank you, Rizwana. Oh, how was your curry? Or are you yet to eat that? Oh, I've got fish and chips now. How lovely. And what's left of the cake? So thank you all for joining me. It was a pleasure being here. I really enjoyed it and I've learned something myself. That's amazing, isn't it? And I'll take some close-ups of both of them, but for the splats, because that unicorn uh, pretty gets pretty, pretty gets gritty. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, thank you everybody. I'm going to save this. Rizwana, you can go and look in the units later. Um, I've I may not move this over until after I've had my dinner, so I don't expect it to be there straight away, but it will be in the Tando's Creative Zone, okay? Uh, you're welcome, Celia. It was lovely to see you all. Very welcome, Nikki, Kim, everybody. Wait for Tango, another line. Oh, did you? <gasps> Make sure you put up your pictures for us, eh? Oh, I'd love to see everybody's work, even if you do it in a day, two days away, whatever. All right, well, take care, everybody. I'm probably going to have a dead arm tomorrow, but that's cool. Um, I'm all jabbed up. I hope you're all staying safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.